In the Volta region's Agotim Ezeope district, farmers are grappling with yet another episode of surplus produce coupled with a lack of market access, resulting in substantial financial setbacks. Now, the persistent occurrence of these losses is discouraging the region's youth from pursuing agriculture endeavors. Now, City News' reporter Benjamin Aklama delved into the issue, visiting several farms in the region and filed this report. So we've paid a visit to one of the tomato farms in the Agatim Ezeope traditional area. This is a 10-acre farm uh, which has uh, some of its yield wasting away due to the lack of market. Fortunately for this farmer, some two trucks have visited the farm this morning to buy tomatoes. But let me help you appreciate how much it costs to run a 10-acre farm like this and what the, the loss possibly is. So for a 10-acre uh, farm like this, it would cost you about 500 cities to plow an acre. So for 10 of that, that's about 5,000 Ghana cities to plow. And then you'd notice that the tomatoes is on ridges, not on the bare floor. So these ridges cost about 50 cities to mount for a 12 by 12 piece of land. That's how they do the measurement here. So 10 of that would make an acre. So for 10 acres, that's about 100 pieces of 12 by 12 uh, piece of land. And that would give you about another 5,000 Ghana cities just to mount the ridges. So 10,000 cities gone so far. Then you buy the seed and the seeds are in cans of 50 gram, the hybrid seeds. Now one can is about 700 cities now on the market. Two of those cans would give you an acre's worth of tomatoes. So for each acre, it's about 1,400 Ghana cities. For 10 acres, that's about 14,000 Ghana cities. Plus the land preparation in the region, you are counting about uh, 25,000 Ghana cities already. Now, you have to now transplant the nursery onto uh, the field. It costs about 40 cities to transplant the seedlings from the nursery beds onto the farm. So for a 10 acre farm like this, it will cost about 4,000 cities to transplant the tomatoes onto the field. So we are counting about 30,000 uh, 30, so far. After about a month into the production, they would have to dig the furrows onto the ridges so that the ridges become taller and support the crops better. That will also cost you about 40 cities per each 12 by 12 piece of land. 10 of that would make an acre. 10 acres would cost you about 4,000 Ghana cities. So we are counting about 34,000-ish uh, going. Then you now buy uh, all the chemicals, the, the weedy sides, the, the pesticides, the fungicides, the nematicides, you name them, so many of them, plus the fertilizer. That should also be amounting to about 20 to 25,000 Ghana cities. That combined, you are not doing anything less than 60,000 Ghana cities to run a farm like this. To see their money waste away like this should be a bad situation. But this happens almost every year. The question is, why do they keep doing it? I'm going to get 75,000. Dark brown. Okay. If you have a good situation, I'm going to get a good situation. Oh, I'm going to get a good situation. 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 Ta <laughs> Because the order go be a recommend me as you will throw a blow. Hey, my time, you know, you want to be the da, me blue nagar and plus where a baker go hit qua, call her, put on a true mima. That play, I never a mobile plan when I come for she, muted to the day, I won't talk much to me. I've been a nil lap where I do chocolate. Oh, I believe me, I know your role, Blumagoji, old drag, why. I have a thousand five hundred, two thousand, two thousand five hundred. At least, have Ghana cities. That's about half a million. Two, two, ten acres, man. Uh, four billion. Four hundred thousand. That's about uh, half a million Ghana cities, new currency. Uh -huh. mm. Because a guy can make glass go, but never collect for them. Yapper, I'm glad the moon cheer, Payama. A woe, 
Oh, triple. Mm. Uh -huh. Me play like bochika 150. 50 is 700, 800. Mm. Fertilizer, me play 160 Ghana. I play 450, 420. Tango, oh, high, 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 high. Mm. high, high. I am expert when I am a doctor. 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 I am a so it's a popular spot where the farmers wait for trucks carrying crates to uh, come and buy their, their tomatoes. Uh, back there, the, the field behind there is where they normally would park uh, the vehicles. And as you can see, that, that spot is empty. The streets are also virtually empty. Um, the few vehicles that have come uh, have gone to the farms and picked tomatoes. Meanwhile, we understand um, several tons of tomatoes is uh, rotting away. On, on the farms. Let me engage uh, the, the farmers and, and find out how they're dealing with the situation. This year, how has your farms been? Let's start it from there. Uh, it was a very hectic one, of course, because of the cost of uh, farm inputs. So the cost involved was very rich. And actually, uh, we rely, we are, we are a type of farmers who actually rely on natural rains. So uh, as it is, we thought, uh, the, uh, the market will come by as it stands now. They are buying it at the low cost. A big, a full crate is, call, uh, is costing 250 Ghana series. Even uh, they are not buying it for some people because uh, the, mar the market women usually says uh, the seed is not good and there are, they find some uh, certain mistakes. So they buy some 200, 150. So why are you not producing, let me, let me come to you, why are you not producing the kinds of seed that the market women want to buy? Usually, as my brother said earlier on, because it is a rain-fed agriculture, climate factor play a role in cultivating of the tomato and other vegetables. We practice the, uh, the hybrid mm. and it will not work better at our place over here. So we call on researchers to come and research more into uh, various varieties of uh, the tomato crops so that we can get better crop yield in future. So you mean you've tried the, 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 the hybrid. hybrid seeds? The, the, they didn't work very well over here. Yeah. Okay, but are you achieving the yields? Are you getting the yields with the, the current varieties that you are planting? Yes, please. As for that one there, yes. But usually they complain that it doesn't last in the market as such because uh, according to the hybrid, uh, it can last for uh, over a week. But in, our, uh, in, in case of our local breeze, three, four days, then it started rotting. Yeah. But as for the yield there, we are getting it. Yeah. At first, we were demanding for tomatoes factory, but this has not come. So this time, we were. We, we're thinking if someone or some company can come and uh, uh, buy this uh, product for the farmers to help them, mm. since uh, there is no means for uh, this uh, factory. And uh, I would like to advise my people not to even cultivate so much, because tomatoes now in the country, we, we hear that some some other traditional areas and some regions have been plowing. So I urge them not to farm, not to extend their farms like that because there's no factory for uh, uh, products. Yeah, we are away. The assembly is much away. And uh, we are doing everything possible to solve the problem. We are, at the moment, there's a project, a construction of one go room. So, we we'll make sure that go room is completed so that we'll be keeping the tomatoes there. You can see, this is a truck that has come to buy tomatoes. 
hither to this period, you will see several trucks with crates like this uh, demanding to buy tomatoes. Not in today's times because tomatoes is all over, it's popular all over the country. But I give you two months and you will struggle to find tomatoes even in this area. The solution probably lies in a sustainable way of preserving tomatoes for future use. For certain news, my name is Benjamin Aklama. Zyopi.